way. <laughs> Yeah, so we just got in and they have something rigged up to the door here. I'm guessing it's like a noise. So if you pull the door, it pulls this off the chair. Bunch of empty alcohol. There's homeless people here. Damn, there's like beds still made and everything. The location we are exploring today is an old hotel and bar that has been abandoned for almost 40 years. Constructed in 1910, this location was made to accommodate tourists that would flood in year round from all over. The hotel exchanged ownership several times during its life and was rebranded under many different names. After its final owner defaulted on several payments, the property was seized by the bank in 1982 and purchased by the city the following year. With no eager buyers, the property has sat abandoned, slowly decaying for almost four decades. Yo guys, check this out. What? This is insane. So, people were definitely sleeping in here. Yeah. yeah? No way. What? That still works? No way. Soaked. Oh, asbestos water. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Asbestos water. The rooms look fully set up too. The reason why this room is so warm is because this heater here is actually still blowing heat. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's warm in here? Yeah, feel it. Put your hand there and you'll feel feel the heat. Holy <laughs> It's still it's heated. Such a fire risk, like. I know. <laughs> wow. The roof is suffering on this hotel. You can see it's been dripping for quite a while. Oh, that's cool. It's like an old dial TV. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> This TV works. How the hell do I turn it down? The screen's looking, but you hear something. I think it's just on radio mode. What's up, Pat? This place is gonna burn down the ground. So the light came on here. No way. No way. Scared? What the? <laughs> Yo. Who's paying the electrical bill here? Even the fans working. What the heck, guys? Wow. Who's paying the electrical? The water's cut off, the power's on. This is so bizarre. That is... Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Typically when you find an abandoned location with power, it's because the property had recently become abandoned. But that wasn't the case for this hotel, which had been sitting abandoned with power and heat for roughly 40 years. Finding a location as decayed as this with working electricity raised several concerning questions. Who was paying the hydro bill? Why haven't they cut the power to such a decayed structure? And how in the world has it not caught fire yet? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> the light's on. And the TV is going. I've never seen anything like this. Here's another untouched room. Just completely frozen in time here. Tons of dirty rooms here. Oh, Jesus. So that one has power too. It doesn't get any less creepy every time I see one of these TVs. I wonder if there's anything in these drawers. No. Bed's still made and everything. No way. This you is said ridiculous. I early when I walked in that room. I was actually trying to find the switch. Wow. And I didn't even notice it was on one of the You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. <laughs> and everything's still in the room. There's the TV there. There's the bed. There's the dress. Even the, the little vanity works there. For its time, this hotel was the second largest in the area, containing 30 rooms and an attached nightclub. Damn, so they just stored like full kitchens. They probably had, like stoves and stuff for the staff or something to cook. And they're just all stored right here. Old McClary range style stove. After making some astounding discoveries on the third floor, we headed down to the hotel's second floor to see what it had to offer. With the buildings running heat and electricity, we were all concerned about potentially encountering some narcotic enthusiasts that may be inhabiting some of the rooms. Like people living in here? Yeah, they, they've seen us in the It's weird, a lot of lights don't turn on anymore. Damn, so it's like... Everything's left behind in some of these rooms. Oh, and these would have been conjoined rooms here. And it looks like they used this room to store the mattresses. Or somebody could be living in here. Possible. I can't believe how much stuff they have left behind here. Here's like all the lamps and some decorative pieces that they would have had. So, right here, when we first discovered this, but when we first explored it, this this whole wall had old records in there. Every record is gone now. Oh, so somebody old, took old records from the 70s, like legit old ones. All gone. Damn. Wait till you see in here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Somebody's put blankets over the windows. It looks like these have been like old glasses and such. They had all like their old goblets. Bedding in this 
this room here. It was honestly really refreshing to find a location with all natural decay and little to no vandalism. Most of the rooms were left exactly as they were when the owner lost the building nearly four decades ago. This is very, very old school. <laughs> Please don't be smelly. Not bad, but empty. There's the rest of the room. Look, they still have cups and little plates hanging on the uh, drawer there. These old TVs, bulb TVs. <laughs> Holy, it's like a wall of TVs. Is that from this building? I think it came from the middle hallway or from the downstairs. You think it was from this building though? It sounded like it, but you heard, you obviously heard it, right? Yeah, yeah. That this beeping is a smoke detector, but the other one was an alarm, definitely. Yeah. With our current situation, we were presented with two options. Turn tail and head out of the building, or take our chances and check out the bottom floors. We chose to keep going. The fire alarm's trying so hard to go off. That's for us. No. Yes, it is. Remember I told you the upstairs one's trying to ring? It's so rusted it won't ring. I know, but that's for us. No, we said the old fire alarm. alarm. No, 100%. Yeah, but listen. There's some sort of alarm system there. Oh, damn. See, it's the fire alarm, look. It's the fire alarm, it keeps trying to ring. That was... This fire alarm keeps going off because the, the fire, the smoke detectors are going off. And this fan is is actually on right now. That's what that's Wow. What the hell? Look at, the, look at the state of this place. And it still like has functioning bits. This place is just littered with stuff. I'm gonna find this light. <laughs> Damn it! This bar is awesome. like the old cash register <laughs> they even have like the emergency contact for the police and the fire there goes again. Check this out. speaking of fire <laughs> this is just it's the jump scares oh here's like this they would, they would put shooters in this <laughs> didn't mean to do that yo listen to this dude Listen to this speaker. Is there still audio in it? Oh yeah, that's like a PA <laughs> system. Hello? Yeah, I gotta go behind there you guys are moving. There's a cover for the drink machine. The old cash registers, somebody's ripped the tills out of them. I don't remember. You're a hockey guy. Yeah. Was it this guy? Yeah. Look at the woodwork on this bar. Every time it gets it. 
this is an old lava lamp. It's solidified now. This is ridiculous. Would you like your shot? So it still has pressure then if you're hearing that sound. Oh my god, every time. Dude, what is this? Yeah, there's still full. So D Dog's playing with the electrical here and he just turned on the lights. There's someone literally back into the back door. So this is the kitchen. And you can see it's still fully stocked. You've got like a deep freezer here. And oh that's cool, it's like an old wooden pipe. Jeez, there's like a big vault. Somebody's gotten into it though. So they got like everything left behind in this kitchen here. There's like sliced banana peppers, full containers of Frank's Red. After exploring the entire main floor, we decided to head down into the basement. Oh my god. Oh. Go this way, Justin. Okay, we'll come down to the right after. Oh, oh this thing's so bad. Holy, look at the floor. <laughs> Why am I? I'm not surprised because, guys, everything we've tried here, TVs work, lights work, the old everything with the water. The old darts? What darts? Oh, yeah, no darts anymore. Yeah. Box full of old drink skewers. They had like colored light bulbs. They probably would have put in the dance floor. Wow, this is so old, guys. I don't remember this being here. Oh, there's like replacement window panes. This is crazy. Oh, there's an old singer tabletop. The beer room. We're standing on hundreds of bottles of beer right now, guys. We're trying to see the ones back here. These ones seem to be old. Careful, they're all full too. Yeah, everything. For Brennan. Yeah. Like, that looks pretty clean, doesn't it? <laughs> you really want me to drink one, don't you? But look, yes. it's, it's preserved yes, we well enough in this basement because this is the cold cellar anyway. Beer gets. Cool, it's covered in dust and mold. Yeah, but look, it's wrapped. This is the saddest part of the whole explore. All the abandoned beer. And look, there's even more. This is insane, guys. 
Don't do that one. That one's good. It's still spot. carbonated. Yeah, drink it. It's good. Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> Bad? It tastes like like malt vinegar. <laughs> oh. 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 Why, why did you talk me into doing that? 